everybody, this is Praxis, and if you look up at the sky right now, you'll know why I was so keen on doing all that work with the parabolic dish yesterday when I had access to the sun. Today, it shouldn't really have anything other than what you see up in the sky right now, so I'm glad that I got that accomplished when I did. What you can see down here is the hole that I dug to get down to, uh, there was a small drain that was left uh, coming out of the root cellar. Uh, that was made so that if water ever got into this main area, uh, it would be able to drain out and also so that I could install something like this uh, at this point. And that's what, what I've uh, been able to do with it. I dug down and I, I kind of forgot I had all these chunks of insulation uh, there to because the footing's not that far below the ground here. So I had to dig through the dirt and then I hit the insulation and I cut through. It looks like I've got six inches of insulation is what I put down there. That seems like a pretty good idea. Uh, after that, I had to cut through a little bit more dirt and then there was a piece of uh, kind of like landscape fabric. It's like a cloth to keep the dirt from getting down into the gravel, which is on top of the perimeter drain. So you don't clog up the perimeter drain with silt and stuff like that. So cut through all that. I got down to the perimeter drain. I took a one and a quarter inch drill bit drilled through that, took those uh, three-quarter inch uh, interior di diameter um, uh, PVC pipes that I uh, was bending yesterday, uh, took, took one of those, put it, uh, kind of just hooked it down into the hole. I took some silicone glue and glued around it, and uh, not so much it's going to be a great seal. I, I don't think silicone really bonds particularly well to PVC anyway, but it just was to kind of clog up all the excess holes because it's like a quarter, one and a quarter inch drill bit and the, I don't know, the outside dimension of the, uh, the three quarter inch uh, PVC was probably about an inch. So there was like, you know, there's some play around the edges. So I clogged it all up. It's all cured down there. And I'm under no illusions that you can see down there, but I do have the opportunity to uh, give you a little tour down there. And uh, to be honest, I'll be interested in seeing what this video looks like later on. So I'm gonna lower you down in there and you can kind of see what's going on. So you can see the, uh, the hole there and the pipe coming out, and then the pipe going down into the uh, uh, silicone glue. All right, so I'm gonna bring you out of there, back up here, and now the next step for me is to uh, start putting things back. Now, the, uh, uh, there's a bunch of gap around that, th I think it's like three inch um, drain pipe, so what I figured I'd do is take these excess pieces of tile. This is tile that I'd used, uh, you know, it's like all around the bathroom and everything. These are the scrap pieces. I always keep this kind of stuff. And this will act as a great uh, way of kind of uh, sealing up around that three inch uh, vent pipe. So when I put gravel in, the gravel's not going to go, uh, you know, pouring uh, down into the structure. So these are really, they're, they're really perfect. I, I was thinking, oh, man, I wish I had some kind of like thin pieces of stone uh, that could like, you know, act as a block down there thin pieces of stone. I love keeping scraps so you can use it for stuff like that. I know this camera only has a five minute run time. What I'm going to do, I'm going to dive in there and start putting stuff in. We'll see how long it takes. Uh, once I get these in place, I'm going to get the gravel in there. All right, let's see. More opportunity for some nice butt shots. Here we go. All right. Okay, one's in place. Okay, got two of those in place right now. They're just sitting, uh, you know, kind of atop the uh, pipe. Pipe goes through the center here, They're like that. I'm gonna put some gravel in the bottom to kind of hold them up and then uh, set another, another piece right across the top. I'm gonna do this by the handful to be gentle about it. Once I get enough of them in there, I guess I could pour in. But I don't want to be knocking down a bunch of dirt either. This is the pile of uh, gravel that I pulled out of there, and it's just kind of mixed with dirt. So I don't want to put stuff back clean. Oh, and for the fabric, I'm going to be using uh, that scrap of stuff right over here, which is just some old blanket, which uh, it'll work fine. I don't know if it's ideal, but I want to kind of, again, plug up the area so I don't get a bunch of silt going through there. That's working pretty well. I think I can dump some of this in here without hitting the sides. 